YouTube. Today, I have a pretty cool mod to check out. Uh, it's another one from Smoent. This is the Cherion TC-218. This, I think, will be a, a nicer one. I think I'll have nicer stuff to say about this one just because of the overall design from what I've seen online uh, than I did, or at least than I had for the uh, the, the touchscreen one from Smolin. I didn't really like that. It was huge, bulky. It was, it was quality, you know, the way they designed it and everything, like the material, everything. Craftsmanship, that's what I'm trying to say, was like two thumbs up. The design, eh too big, too bulky, too heavy, everything. The screen lacked a lot of stuff, but we're not going into that. Today, we're gonna be checking this out. I have it, uh, specs pulled up, we're gonna run down this. I think I've been calling it Cherion. It's Cheron or something like that, there's no I. So it comes in a slew of colors. There's about eight or nine different colors, I think. Um, but they had some cool designs. I didn't buy any of the plain colors. Uh, I stuck for more of like the ones that sold out fast, fastest, where there are ones with like, they're just crazy design because you just don't see a lot of that with the vapes these days. It's usually solid colors, stuff like that. So we went ahead and picked up some of the, the crazy designs we'll show you. The Cheron TC218 by Smo is a dual 18650, 218 watt box mod. Cheron TC218 is built with an Ant 218 chip designed by Smolin, providing no delays. And the temperature control supports builds made of nickel, titanium, stainless steel, and TCR down to 0 0.1. The Cheron TC218 allows for pass through charging, and the extensive ventilation system keeps the batteries cool throughout the day. So, features. Dual 18615 bat or Dual 18650 battery sled power range one watt to 218 watts. That's pretty cool because most of them, like I said before, stop. The lowest they'll go is like six watts. So if people have like their own little cartridges stuff like that, you're not gonna be able to run it because you probably will burn them out. Temperature range 200 watts to 600. Uh, 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Minimum resistance, 0 0.1 ohm. Upgradable firmware, pass-through charging, 510 connection, overtime protection. Res res Damn, I can't talk today, guys. Reverse polarity protection, overheating protection, low resistance protection. Nice. So, we're gonna unbox this one right here in front. Tell me what you guys think. Should I do the unboxing, flip them around, show my hands, or do you guys wanna like see my, my reactions? Some of you weirdos out there just might want to like see my face as I like like a kid in the candy store. The picture, all the boxes look the same. This little sticker here indicates what the mod is, like the color and all that. Uh, again, I think they, I don't know, some of the boxes had the big thing over it about nicotine. Some of them don't. I think they stopped doing it on the new boxes. This is a new box. Smoent. Our code. Here we go. All right, let's tear it open. We have a quality card, a nice little booklet, battery information. Uh, we have a charging cable in there, and here we have the mod. Now, what is this one? This one is called Evil Wolf. Now, if you can see on there, this is like a leather back it's got the wolf and it wraps all the way around we have some battery venting down at the bottom and some claws up here tons of battery venting here on this side and on this side huge 510 spring loaded I already checked uh, nice fire button here we have our up and down here, nice screen, and I haven't seen this design since like the IPv4S, I think, or something like that. This back just, beep. but the IPVs, I must say, were all plastic. This is metal, it's not gonna bend. Uh, yeah, it's lined with plastic on the inside, 
but it's got two pretty decent magnets. It kind of, it's got a nice fit and it just sucks that thing right in there. It's like, whoa. Yeah. Whoop. Very cool, I like it. And it's got like this leathery feel. That's what that's printed on, it's like a leather. Uh, let me show you some of the other colors. This one here is Hell's Angel. It's got, I like the black better, I must say. There we go. That is pretty cool, guys. This one is Blazing Skull. Very cool. And each one of these have a different color body on it. Uh, and then this one has got like a copper frame on it. And this is Thor's Hammer. Some of these are kind of gimmicky, but I don't know. I think they'll sell really good, sell quick. Let's throw some batteries in here. I'll throw my tank on it. We'll check it out. Be right back. All right, so we're gonna check out the Hell's Angel. So the bottom also is uh, spring-loaded pins for the battery sled. So that was a little weird. Uh, it didn't want to run my MXJOs. Uh, I do need to rewrap them. I mean, these things have been through hell, so I don't know if that was it. But I had some spare batteries. I think someone left on my charger. So it fired right up. Bloop. Uh, let's see what it looks like. One watt. And it doesn't round robin. Goes all the way up. So very nice screen. Basic. Tells you everything you need to know little bit of button rattle I don't like. I think some of these were a little worse too than others. Like, yeah, so quality control. I don't know how I like that. This one, no rattle. This one, little rattle. This one, oof. See, like, what the heck? And then, yeah, on that one. So, whatever. It's got a nice weight. Feel it. I like that leather back and the way it's rounded back here. Just gives it a nice like a nice ergonomic feel nice weight to it too i like the the combo of uh, material with the metal and the, the little pleather so we're gonna screw my tank on it Let's see how she rips see i believe the other small uh that i tried the touchscreen one had like no ramp up time either so so this with the tfe8 is a perfect match just look at that yeah that's what the tfe8 it's got a second timer on there for when you're puffing. And we're gonna crank this baby up to say 100. It's hard to tell, there we go, 100 watts. Just like it says, no ramp up time. I like that, look. This thing puts out, it puts out um, I'm gonna have to, I think they redeem themselves on this one. I don't, I mean, first time I think I've disliked a mod and then a week later unbox another one from the same company and this one I'm gonna say two thumbs up just for it being a lot more compact and they didn't have to pack it full of stupid gizmos like touch screen and a huge glass front and all this crap to get two thumbs up. I think, I think we got a winner. That's what we have today, guys. Let me know in the comments which, which one was your favorite out of these. Uh, they do have, like I said, tons of other plain colors if you want to be more discreet or just more solid colored. Um, I don't know if they'll have a, a pleather back. I think they will. Um, just it'll probably be like black, different color bodies. A lot of, a lot of options, though. So check them out. Uh, hopefully our website will be done by the end of this year or something like that. And we'll be able to offer a lot of this stuff to you guys and some merch and all that other cool stuff. But yep, that's what we have. I'm signing out. You guys keep doing you. Be good at it. I'm out.